Today, we are going on an adventure to explore the fascinating life of John B. McLemore. A brilliant and wealthy man who lived in the heart of Woodstock, Alabama. John B. was such an intriguing person and his property was equally captivating. One of the most interesting things he built was a hedge maze, but it's now overgrown and unrecognizable. Today we'll be visiting various locations mentioned in the famous podcast by Serial called S-Town. So come along and let's discover the incredible story of John B. McLemore. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Big Banks and today is a very, very special episode. Right now, we are actually underneath this bridge and you'll get to see more of that here in just a little bit. But today we are going to explore the abandoned home of a former famous clockmaker by the name of John B. McLemore. Now this name might sound familiar to you because he was also part of one of the most successful podcast in the world and if you haven't heard of it there's going to be spoilers and stuff in this video so you're going to want to check the, check out the podcast down below but today we are not only exploring the home we're exploring this town that john liked to call shit town let's go our first stop is at the woodstock little caesars where allegedly a man by the name of cabram burt confessed to a murder that he never committed All right, so we just pulled up to the Little Caesars. Looks like they're closed today. What day is today, Sunday? Uh, yeah. They close at 4.50 on a Sunday? But yeah, we're here at the Little Caesars. This is where apparently Cabram Burt was telling people openly that he had murdered somebody. This is where they claimed that they met him and he said all that stuff. So this is what we see when you're at the Little Caesars here. Not what I envisioned, it's kind of connected to the gas station and part of it is even abandoned, like right here. <laughs> so, um, but apparently they said around the back is a bit scary. So let's drive around the back and let's, uh, let's see it. We're not gonna spend too much time at the Little Caesars just because um, we wanna get on with the exploration and get you to the house and to the bridge and stuff. This is basically where the podcast started. This is where the whole, somebody gets told about a murder and then the murder gets swept under the rug. It all came uh, to light that Cameron Burt never murdered anybody. So that is a spoiler, like I said in the beginning that we're gonna have some spoilers in this. And, uh, but yeah, Cameron Burt never murdered anybody, but apparently somebody claimed that he was going around telling everybody that he did and uh, it just wasn't true. But John definitely believed that something happened in this town. But why was John so infatuated about the rumors? If he thought so much was wrong with the town he lived in, why didn't he just leave and take all of his wealth and family with him? Well, the simple answer to that is because it's home. Turns out, Little Caesars is open. They just look really run down. So, all right, well, we're ordering pizza now. Hello, uh, can I, we just get, do you want pepperoni? Yeah, it's fine. Man. Just one pepperoni. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Okay, watch this. Okay, so. Such a nice lady that was. Yeah, so. The, Look at how many napkins she gave me real quick. Look at this. <laughs> the whole pack. What is this? <laughs> it's just the way it's like right over close to the edge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so now we're, now we're gonna eat a pizza in honor of John B. Uh, and then we're gonna head to the next location. Uh, oh my gosh, this is so bad. <laughs> All right, well, let's eat this pizza. All right, now it's time to test out the pizza of Woodstock, Alabama. I mean, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I'd eat it. <laughs> How did I get this card? Uh, I'm not letting you pay for it. the drinks. <laughs> Why? Let's taste the pizza. You see that? Such a nice guy. He's paying for drinks. 
Tastes like a little Caesar's pizza. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't taste like John B. blessed pizza? No, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if John B. actually liked pizza like this. He did like the Little Caesars, though. He did? Yeah, he did eat there. Been good. We're doing something good for John B. here. We're going to uh, finish this pizza, and we're going to move on to the next uh, location, which is the bridge, right? I hope. We're going to try to find the bridge with uh, the graffiti names. But you guys got to stay tuned because we're going to the house, so remember that. Yes. All right, let's eat this pizza. For our second location, we're visiting a bridge near the Cahaba River where John B. and his beloved friend, Tyler Goodson, spray painted their names on Father's Day. The day before, John B. took his own life. So, middle of the forest here. On this bridge. Posey, where you at? I'm just gonna scoot down. Gonna scoot? I'm gonna scoot. Hello? Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing? What makes you think you have any right to my bridge? <laughs> this is my bridge! <laughs> I'm the troll! <laughs> this is me bridge. How did you get up there? I just took a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> Now you're gonna have to get down. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta scoot down this thing because it is extremely steep. I'm afraid my shoes are slipping. I know. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary. That's gotta hurt your legs. Yeah. Y'all gotta do it like this. I am not doing that. I'm gonna fall. This dude does it too easy. Oh, see, I'm sliding. <laughs> Golly. Oh no. I just gotta catch this thing. Okay. All right. Vans are not the shoes to explore in, everyone. We're good. All right, well, now that we've made it down that slope, we're under the bridge where John B. and Tyler Goodson spray painted their names. And we're going to try to find that. There's a lot of graffiti down here and we're literally in the middle of nowhere, Alabama. Let's just see if we could find their, their signatures down here. Are you right? Over to the right? They wrote Johnny over it. Oh yeah. So it's established 1966. Where's uh oh yeah and this one says RIP John B. Look, there was a Freebird sticker on the door. There was a Freebird sticker on the door of this house. I don't know what that is. It's, it's the same thing. B R R D. But somebody wrote Johnny over JBM, John B. McLemore. Tyler Goodson's is right over there, 1991. You can see that. Crazy to see this. From the podcast. Sit out here on Father's Day and fish the day before he died. Yeah. Day before. Spoilers. <laughs> so yeah, just like he said, right before Father's Day, they came out here, they fished together, and then the day after, John B. took his own life. So, back in 2015, one of the biggest things that they said in the podcast that caused him to have this depression was when he was making his clocks, he would uh, basically burn mercury. Uh, called fire gilding and mercury poisoning when you breathe in that fumes can really mess with your brain a lot so that's a big reason so, why I mean it's, it's metal poisoning it's mad hatter yeah yeah metal poisoning it's just it's really bad stuff and he just never took precautions to you know make sure he was safe either way it's really sad what happened to John and especially all the stuff that his loved ones had to go through um, with the money and the gold and all that stuff it's uh it's insane so we're gonna show you john's house we went earlier today but hope you guys stayed until this point in the video let's <laughs> go wobbly timey wimey yeah <laughs> so we're going to go check out john's house and i hope you guys enjoy we're gonna see the maze and all the stuff that's left in there let's go over there and let's check it out before we can actually go see everything else we got to make it up this dadgum hill with vans on at <laughs> that I, no. 
Okay, here we go. Okay. You did it. I did it. Yay. I did it. Hopefully my crack wasn't showing everyone. It was. Well, oh well, you get what you get. This is the only time you get it for free, guys. Now we gotta go back to the car. S Town Down. S Town Down. Now it's time that we take a look at what's left of John B's home, tucked away on 140 acres of beautiful land where he used to have 300 foot plots of various plants and flowers, a doghouse that housed over 21 strays that he rescued, as well as a shop where he kept hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of antiques and an elaborate hedge maze that was the only one in the state. Today, it's left in despair so let's see what's left. So this is the outside of John's house. You can see it's really old. I'm not gonna spend too much time right here showing the outside of the house. We're gonna take it to the maze, the swing, all that stuff. Right here, right here is where John died. He drank cyanide to kill himself basically and he wanted to leave his money to Tyler Goodson and Tyler's brother Jake but didn't have a will and kind of just got bad from there let's go inside the house here in a minute but let's look around the, the outside first so John used to have tons of uh, different plants as you can see all this was gardens he would have 300 foot fields of just petunias and tulips and flowers I couldn't even name. But right here is a swing that he built. All part of the podcast right here. So when he built this, he used a tractor. Oh, and a pull-up bar. Yeah, because he wanted them to be strong boys. <laughs> then he used a tractor seat for the swing. John's house is just tucked away over there in the woods. And then the maze over here. If you've listened to the podcast, the maze was one of the coolest things about it. He built this hedge maze with 64 possible solutions when you can move the, uh, the gates around. And he said there's always one way you can make it to where it's impossible to get out. And he said one thing about it that really hit me. John said back then, the hedge maze is only about hip high, so you can make it out of there. But afterwards, he said one day you won't be able to see the, the maze. He did a little bit of foreshadowing in his speech, but right here is the maze. Some of the hedges right here. Yeah, some of the hedges are still there, but you can see trees have grown up around the whole thing. We'll send up the drone and show you what it looks like. It's really cool, man. I wish we could still see like the whole pattern of everything. But John was right. He said one day you won't be able to. Yep. I can't believe he said that and then it actually he knew, yeah. came true. He knew it was gonna happen. So guys, everything else is pretty overgrown, hard to get around to. So we're just gonna go ahead and go inside John's house, see what's left. I'm pretty sure it's gutted, but you know, we're doing a whole story of this town and Basically a whole a video version of the S-Town. All right, everyone, so now we're in John's house. We're just gonna do a quick walkthrough because it's pretty empty, but this is the main living room. Place is gutted completely. Two fireplaces. Two fireplaces in one room. It's pretty cool. All wood in here. Right back this way. Here's a bedroom. And I've actually seen this video on Tyler Goodson's Facebook where John is building something right here. You can see the design of this old house. So we're gonna come down this hallway. The floor is looking pretty bad. Oh my 
my gosh. So this is where all John's books are. These are all of John's books that he read. He was really big into them too. So it's really neat to see these still here. And imagine there's probably so many more. This is so cool. I think he actually mentioned this book on the podcast. I think, yeah, I think he did mention that book. So the fact that that's all here is so awesome. But guys, we're not going to spend much time in his house, so we're going to uh, see a couple more things here, and then we're going to head out and uh, show you everything else. So yeah. But yeah, it's just an empty room. High ceilings, though. Come back to the back of the house. And here's the kitchen. And right here, guys, right in this fridge is where they found John's gold. Apparently it was all wrapped up in this freezer. It's pretty insane. Kitchen's real yellow. And John, if you guys heard the podcast, he talked about how he used to pee in his sink while he looked at his garden out there. <laughs> Guy was such a character. This is a pretty sweet place. I mean, it's... You guys see the dungeon? Oh, look, that goes down to the bottom. Oh, it's a laundry chute. How do we get down there? Right here. Remember he talked about the dungeon in the, in the basement? Yeah. That the boat gates for here we gotta see the dungeon in the basement. Holy cow, what the heck? So he's built these wooden gates for down here. Tyler built all of them. Tyler built all of this. He probably used to keep some dogs down here too. Yeah, there's something more it's weird over here. Yeah, this is definitely a strange area of the house. And then we can just leave. Oh, here's his National Geographic's. National Geographic's here. And the freezers. Now, I'm not sure if they found the gold in that freezer or if they found it in this one or that one, but they found it in one of the freezers in this house. Wow. Somebody did, allegedly. <laughs> Washer and dryer, water heater. And then we can go straight out the back here. All right, so we're gonna go see if we can see uh, the maze and uh, the other buildings that he has are here. Apparently he built a two-story dog house. So uh, let's go get Lacey and then let's head out the back and see what else is out there. Yep, here's the dog house. Dang, this place was so cool. Yeah. Careful on this. Check that out, there's his dog house. He used to have 14 dogs or 21 dogs at one point. This is all just thorns right here. Right here is John's car, one of his cars, Ford Fairlane. Oh, is it a Thunderbird? Oh, it is. It's beat the heck. Wow. It's just rusted out here. Now we're driving up to the graveyard and uh, we're going to see John's grave here. Uh, where should I park for this? Oh, you can actually drive into the graveyard. I can drive in? Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to drive into this graveyard here and we're going to see John B. McLemore's grave. Come on in. Oh. All right, now we're going to go see John's grave. So we're here. Many graves out here, but we're here for one guy, one very special guy. It's weird because a guy like John, you really wouldn't think he'd want to be buried here in this town because he always talked about how much he hated this place. I found it, it's up there. Mary Grace McLemore. So right over here is the grave of John B's mom, which she is still alive, it looks like. Gone but never forgotten, but she's not even gone yet. Yeah. And then of course we got John and look at this. Look at how many fans have come and loved John's stuff. There's keys here, whistles. John Brooks McLemore, 1966, died June 22nd, 2015. 
That's crazy. His grave is the most decorated out here. Except for this one. This one's got some... It's got pennies and stuff all over Stuff on it too, yeah. Is that gilded? No. thought it was something that was gilded. John was good at making that. He actually made Brian Reed something too. Man, I feel like we should leave something for John. We should. What should we leave? We're going to leave John a bracelet. How just You just pull the strap. This right here? No, no. Okay. Yeah. There you go. All right. Since everybody leaves John something, got I, got, I got this in Rome. And uh, I'm going to leave that here for John. There you go. I wish I could have met the guy. Oh, I do have something. I do have something. Because we're so weird. And me and Lacey, like... When we go to places, we leave these little babies in weird places. <laughs> and, um, Hold on, let's see that. So if you ever see these like in a restaurant or something. Did you leave one at the restaurant we were just at? Yes. <laughs> I leave them every place we go. I thought you that was there. Go. I have a, I have like three or four huge bags of them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, please leave that for John. Yeah, where are we gonna, where are we gonna put our baby? I don't know. Put it. It's got a booty on it, so. So it can sit. So I'm gonna set it like, like showing booty. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. John would like that. He'd find that. He'd find that humorous. Yeah, yeah because death is it's nothing. Yeah. yeah. It's nothing to him. Well, for him, yeah, it's not. Yeah, he would probably laugh at that. So that's John's grave. And that, my friends, is the life and home of John B. McLemore, a genius man who the world lost way too soon. There's so much more to the story that couldn't be in today's episode, so I will link the podcast down below if you want to hear more. I hope you all enjoyed today's exploration, and until next time, Big Banks out.